A moderate risk of severe weather has been introduced to areas in southern Michigan, northeastern Indiana, as well as western Ohio, ahead of a potential MCS, which means a mesoscale convective system or potentially a derecho. Now, which one will happen? We'll kind of answer that for you in this forecast. The potential for damaging winds as high as 90 to 100 miles per hour may occur with a few storms tonight, which can cause a lot of damage to areas with straight line damaging winds. There's also a potential for some large hail and maybe even a few tornadoes tonight. Let's get right into the outlook as of right now. So the moderate risk, as I mentioned before, is in these three states as of right now. So Western Ohio, Northeastern Indiana, and Southern Michigan. There's also a enhanced risk ongoing for those in Milwaukee, Chicago, as well as Columbus and Cleveland. Those are the main areas included in that threat for severe weather. That will include the main threats being damaging winds in those areas as well, with maybe a tornado or two existing. Also, a slight risk of severe weather extends into Southeastern Minnesota, all the way back out into areas like West Virginia. So a large area to watch for tonight. Now, here's a look at the damaging wind potential as of right now. That pink purple area is going to represent your potential for a 45 percent chance yes that's almost half of the area in a 25 mile radius of seeing that damaging wind threat between 60 to as high as 90 to 100 miles per hour out of a few storms tonight it is a very significant risk make sure that you are taking those proper precautions tonight if you live in any of these areas and also make sure that you're informing your friends and family about this event by either sharing this video or sharing the, the storm prediction center's outlook on their website as well there's also a other another risk going in so there's a 30 percent probability in that red shaded region, which also indicates another possibility for 60 to maybe 90 mile per hour winds in that area as well. So we're looking at a very dangerous event overall. Now, will a derecho happen? We'll get to that in just a second. There is a ongoing tornado threat as well that includes this afternoon and as well as later tonight. Now, the overnight threat is what we're watching for that potential for an MCS or a derecho. Now, I'm expecting as of right now a MCS, but there very well could be a derecho, giving you a little bit of factors here in just a moment. Tornado risk as of right now, though, is on the low side. You can see that little brown shaded region representing maybe about a 5% chance within a 25 mile radius i'm not expecting the tornado threat to be that high tonight i'm really expecting the damaging wind threat to be the highest here's a look at the future radar for tonight so a few storms will fire up in western michigan later this evening so right around 10 to 11 o'clock eastern standard time by about midnight or so we can start to see a pretty good amount of storms ongoing in areas like central and as well as western michigan that includes mount pleasant and as well as as far south as maybe jackson by one to two in the morning those storms move down to the southeast and eventually maybe a line of storms developing back near four to five in the morning now stay tuned i have another future radar to show you that might be a little bit earlier than that and then also this look at the future radar for ohio you can see about one to two in the morning we have a bit of an area of storms closer to areas near the great lakes eventually by about three or four in the morning a cluster of storms will move down to the south and east and then this computer model specifically the hr is showing a line of storms around five to six o'clock and that would be the damaging line of storms now if this scenario happens it would likely be an mcs sort of scenario with again damaging winds will still be the main threat here's a look at the areas in the eastern portions of the united states near virginia so about nine to ten in the morning a line of storms will move down to the south through southeastern virginia by 12 to 1 in the afternoon it will eventually enter into eastern uh, north carolina before exiting off the coastline and that should be it for that severe weather event now here's a look at one other computer model that has me speculating a few things here this is the nam 3k model which i sometimes use in my forecast but this one is indicating we'll have a line of storms much earlier in the evening this would be closer to 11 to 12 o'clock and eventually turning into a very pronounced line of storms as early as midnight tonight now if this scenario happens we very well could see a derecho in some instances this is at least 200 miles long i mean it's supposed to be about 240 which is pretty close to what we're seeing here but again that's a possibility that we could see eventually by about four to five in the morning that line of storms moves through ohio but it starts to fizzle out so as of right now i'm forecasting an mcs situation that means a mesoscale convective system now for it to be a derecho we have to see a widespread amount of storms through the region and uh, that would really have to be an extensive amount of damage as well as up to 240 miles lo or longer to be able to be a derecho so i'm ex at this point i'm only forecasting an mcs but make sure to be prepared regardless damaging winds scattered and numerous will be possible again through that moderate risk area tonight so make sure you take those proper precautions our article on our website ntxweathercenter.com gives you some information on those precautions all right make sure to stay updated again we might go live tonight so make sure to turn on post notifications down below and subscribe and hit the like button this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all dense repair and patriot safer